HPE has just announced its entry into the private 5G network sector. So I'm here with Richard Band, head of 5G at HPE's communications technology group, to talk about what enterprises need from private 5G and how network operators can address those needs with HPE's new consumption-based offering. So Richard, a uh, very interesting development to talk about today. Uh, so HPE Aruba is already one of the biggest companies in the world in developing wired, wireless and SD-WAN solutions for business customers. How should enterprises and operators think about the addition of private 5G to HPE's portfolio? Well, the, the key word here is addition. So the way we look at the market for private cellular is it's complementary to existing connectivity solutions. And the future is going to be a combination of multiple connectivity options. There are many things that Wi-Fi, which is the, the main uh, workhorse in, in enterprise connectivity today, there are many things Wi-Fi does very well, particularly when it's indoors, relatively cheap, uh, high coverage. That's, that's very good. But there are use cases, and we see more and more of those driven by increasing demand in analytics at the edge, more devices at the edge, a higher degree of automation in the enterprise. Some of those or many of those use cases are demanding uh, complementary capabilities that cellular is very well placed, particularly when it comes to extending coverage or increasing reliability of the connectivity. So from, from an HPE perspective, the objective is to make these two work together as well as possible and facilitate the life of the enterprise as you play with these technologies. Okay, great. So uh, what exactly is HPE solution for private 5G? So the HP solution for private 5G is an extension of the 5G core stack that we launched uh, two years ago. If you remember, we introduced a fully cloud native microservices, highly automated consumption based 5G core. And those characteristics actually make it very, very useful in a private networking session. It allows us to scale down the solution. It gives a great simplicity for the, the customers in, uh, in operating the solution because there's a high degree of automation. It gives us flexibility to explore different deployment options. And in the end, the, the consumption-based pricing that we were talking about is a, a key element because usually in the enterprise space, uh, we like to align cost and revenue and this solution lends itself for that very well. Okay, so you, you mentioned flexibility there. Uh, what exactly is flexible about this offering? I think um, there's a couple of things that are, that are standing out here. So what customers are looking for is, first of all, different options in terms of deployment. So for some use cases, say defense or um, extraction industries like oiling, mining, there's typically a very little supporting infrastructure or simply a desire not to rely upon such infra supporting infrastructure. And so it's important to have solutions that are able to be deployed fully autonomous anywhere in the world and typically under fairly harsh uh, circumstances. And so we have combined the 5G core stack, we've put the 5G core stack on our edge line ruggedized infrastructure to allow to deploy in such circumstances. In other cases, the key is really to have a high degree of availability, to have low latency, to keep the data at the, at the location for fast analysis, potentially for security reasons. But ultimately, we, we can rely on connectivity with the wilder world. And in that case, what we do is we put the necessary elements at the edge to ensure the service that the customer needs. But the majority of the control elements are putting centralized to facilitate the day-to-day -day operations and to allow you know, CSPs to provide this as a fully managed service to their enterprise customers. So the, the, the flexibility in terms of deployment is one thing. The second thing that is quite important here is the speed of deployment. So typically from the moment an order is being placed to the moment we roll this out, it's very important that we go quickly. And here we benefit on the infrastructure from the HP supply chain and at the software level from all the work we did on the automation. Ray, you may remember the one hour to deploy that we have previously shown. That's still a very, very valid value proposition here. And we obviously are leveraging that as we enter into the private market uh, space. Then finally, if we stay on the flexibility topic, I think the other element that is quite important is again, coming back to the original point, 
the, the combination of Wi-Fi and 5G, we have different ways of combining the technologies. And this is really helping to make life of the enterprise simpler by giving them a single interface to manage uh, the, the subscribers or the devices that they want to bring onto their network. Okay, uh, all of this sounds like it, it's playing directly into enterprise needs for private networks. Um, is it possible for you to share some examples of customers that have already started working with the solution? Yeah, certainly. So we actually announced um, a few weeks ago a, a partnership with Optage, which is a Japanese operator that decided to go with us for their uh, rollout of a, of a private networking solution. They typically were interested in this kind of distributed model I talked about before. So providing a managed service, having majority of the, the solution centralized and then putting at the edge only those elements that are required. Another example is a company we're working with in the health industry. So they are building medical devices that want to, they need to have equipped with 5G. And so here we're providing them a facility to test and uh, you know, experiment with the 5G technologies before they roll it out to their customers. Um, another example that is having a lot of attention at the moment is in the defense industry. So here I, I talked about before about the ability to have ruggedized equipment all in a box. So the ability to take a, a full 5G core, put it in the back of a Humvee, and then deploy it wherever is necessary. So those are some, some of the examples of things that we're working on at the moment with customers. But of course, you know, there are many others because what we find is as we go through different industries, petrochemicals, healthcare, um, you, know, you see different needs in different industries and we're, we're on that path at the moment to work through the different use cases with, uh, with some of our key partners. Now, HPE has a long history and is a major player in providing both enterprise and telco solutions for private networking. Uh, what is the next step for enterprises and service providers that are interested in developments such as private 5G? Well, clearly the, the connectivity is, is an element of a bigger problem that customers typically are trying to solve. And so for us, you know, my first words would be come and talk to us. Uh, we're obviously at Mobile World Congress. Come visit us in Hall in, next to the VIP entrance in Hall 3. Um, and just start a conversation and see how we can help you combining Wi-Fi 5G to solve your connectivity needs. Okay, well, that's a, a very clear message. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of interest in this. This is such a hot trend and topic in the industry. Richard, Great to talk to you again today. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Ray. Thanks for having me.